Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a personal journey of mine, that being my dive into the world of watercolors while also using mixed media and also incorporating neurographic art. So let's get to the video. So I've always been an acrylics kind of artist. But recently, I decided to start exploring watercolors. Now, watercolors were like the mysterious cousin I never really got to know. I dabbled with them before, but I never really dove in. And guess what? I initially thought I could just use my trustworthy acrylic techniques on these watercolors. Yeah, well, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> It was like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. But there's just one thing. As I fumbled through these watercolors, something happened. It turned into a journey of self-discovery of sorts. I began wondering if I should make a complete switch to watercolors and just say goodbye to acrylics altogether. So I did what any artist would do. I decided to just paint my heart out and I started a project and the project was, is called the 1000 Buddhas Project, which is still an ongoing project. My love for painting the Buddha is not a new concept to me. So I started there and I found out that I absolutely loved painting the Buddha with watercolors. as I dug deeper into the watercolors, I stumbled upon the world of neurographic art. Now, neurographic art is a bit like uh, art therapy, where you let your subconscious run wild. It was developed by a Russian psychiatrist, or I'm sorry, psychologist, and I'm not going to pretend to know how to say their name, so forgive me if I butcher it, and the name is Pavel Pizkarev. Now, first, I tried to stick to the rules, but I was kidding myself. I don't really like rules when it comes to art. I just couldn't resist that urge to break free from the constraints. And you know what? That's when the real magic started happening because each brush stroke became like a journey into the unknown with the final result being a complete and total surprise. As I painted, one idea led to another as I created each layer and texture using different watercolor techniques. While using my intuition, the work would just unfold before me. And you know what? I just couldn't stop. I'd finish one watercolor and then I'd be itching to start the next. I'd get lost in it for hours, like a kind of meditative trance.
Now here's the cool part. The process felt like meditation. It felt like a direct line to my inner self. And I knew if it wasn't resonating with me, it was going to resonate with someone else. Unlike acrylic work, which I had hit a creative roadblock, this new path was like a waterfall of inspiration. It was like my creative blocks were kind of melting away and ideas started to flow freely once more. This abstract watercolor art with its lines, stippling, circles, and repetitive mark making became my savior. It cleared the path. It removed, or at least it helped remove those creative obstacles and transformed my art into something beautiful and deeply expressive. So this is how my Art Through Meditation series was born. It's an ongoing journey. I've been working on large pieces and small pieces mounted on wood, which I've coated with resin. And all of them are waiting to find their distant owners who will appreciate their unique beauty. This exploration of watercolors and my continued work with acrylics keeps leading me down a path of self-discovery and endless inspiration. It really is a testament to the transformative power of meditation and artistic expression, reigniting my creative spirit and allowing my art to resonate with those who are meant to experience it.
Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me on this little journey today. Uh, if you have any questions or even stories you'd like to share about your own art experience, I mean, feel free to drop them in the comments. I also have a creative group, uh, I'm sorry, a creative group on Facebook where people can share their artwork in a safe space, free of judgment and criticism. Uh, that is something of interest to you. I will leave a link in the comments in the description below and as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more creative video inspiration and I'll catch you in the next one bye